Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I would like to practice some more with the uh, multi-floating bloom. I did one in the last video and I've got an idea for another one. I want to, uh, I haven't done a lot of fall colors this year and it's almost winter here. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna quick get in a fall color kind of com color combination if you will. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right. We are going to go over all the colors, the cell activators, the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So the first color I have, this is actually mixed. This is golden fluid, uh, burnt orange. And I mixed just a little bit of the Liquitex, the heavy body, the uh, quinacridone red orange, just to come up with this color here. And these are all mixed with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. I don't have my other one in here today. I just have one pouring medium. So there's that consistency. And then this is my Golden Fluid Quinacridone uh, Nickel Easel Gold. There's that one. Ooh, got a little chunk in there. And then this is, uh, this is actually Golden's Heavy Body. This is the Interference Gold. You can kind of see that gold shimmer in there. There's that one. And then we've got Joe Sonia's Black Umber. There's that consistency. And then we've got, this is a Paraj Posse paint. This is Persian Autumn Yellow. There's that one. And then this is another Parage Posse paint. This is the Antique Copper Metallic. You see a theme here with my colors. <laughs> I'm trying to get in a fall color <laughs> piece before fall goes away. It's, oh, it's almost winter here for me. So <laughs> I thought I'd get one last, uh, you know, fall color inspired piece in. So my cell activators, I have two. I've got two here and they are both mixed with the Australian Floetrol at four to one. The one part paint for this is the, uh, this is actually Atelier Interactive Titanium White. There's that one. And then this one part paint, if you've watched my channel before, you know I like to mix two golds together. It's just personal preference, you don't have to, but I like the way this it makes this gold. This is about a half a part each of the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold and then the PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold to get this gold cell activator. Just There's those and then my pillow. I've got my Glidden Premium in satin. I'm starting to use this more now. I've noticed the PPG that I love it's just getting a little bit too thick for me in my studio here. So I've kind of switched over to the Glidden Premium in satin. It's just, it's personal preference and it's how my environment rolls. You know, it's going to be different for everybody. But because this is actually starting to thicken up a little bit more. It's usually thinner. At any rate, this is the consistency for our pillow. Again, it's the Glidden Premium in satin. Now we are going to go over to the spinner box and I'm going to show you what we're going to do and we're going to get started painting. All right, I've got a 14 inch square standard canvas taped up on the back. And what I want to do, I do want to do a floating bloom, but I want to do a multi bloom floating bloom. I want to do swipes in the back, but I'm going to do something. I'm going to add a color into it. I've got an idea <laughs> with my color palette and we're going to see how it pans out, but I want to do the multi bloom in the middle and kind of keep it centered with like the background showing this way. So one, two, three, and then we'll kind of stretch it out and hopefully keep it in the middle. That's the idea I am going for. <laughs> we all know how that works. So I am going to get this flooded and then we'll swipe the background on here and then we'll take it over to the bench and bloom it out and then bring it back to spin it. So I'll be right back. All right, I've got this all flooded and ready to go and I'm gonna use this uh, palette knife here. Usually I put the cell activator on, but I wanna put that uh, burnt orange on here as well because I kind of want a little bit of color in the background. I'm hoping that it kind of smears it a little and then we get a little bit of gold cells. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't use, do this very often. So we're gonna find out together, but I have kind of an idea. I just want the color kind of in the background. So we're gonna start with that first. 
like so. I've got the gold, a thin layer of the gold cell activator, and then I have that uh, burnt orange with like that red orange combo that I created in there. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. Let's start right here. Yeah, I kind of like this the schmear right there. And I might add a little bit more cell activator just kind of here and there, just gold. But I'm really liking how that's looking. All right, this is perfect. I, I was hoping for something like this and I got it because it just kind of smears that red orange along and then I wanted just a little bit of uh, cells intermixed in there. So now we're gonna bring this over to the bench and we're gonna do our blooms down the center here. I'm gonna lay down all three colors first and then we'll bloom each one separately. I'm going to put down the yellow first. I'm going to put it in the middle. Right here in the middle. That should be enough. I don't want them too big. And then I want my second one right about here. It's going to go off these, these ones towards the edge there are they are going to go off but we're going to see what happens okay and this one here all right i'm going to put just a little bit of the black umber down i don't want a lot I'm not going to use that, uh, that's almost too much. I didn't want to use a black cell activator, but I did want some kind of a darker in here. Oh, well, <laughs> we're using that much. Uh, what I used for the background color, I'm not going to actually use in the bloom because I figured it would be just too much if it was in the bloom, but I wanted kind of a darker color so that is what we're using. All right, and then I've got the interference, which we're gonna be very heavy handed with because all the sparkles, yes. Yes, please. All right. Antique copper metallic. So. And then finally, the nickel easel gold, put that on top. All right, now I'm gonna use just white cell activator on each of these. We're gonna do the middle one first and then we'll do the two on either side. And I've got a, a little device here that I wanna try on the side ones to help me blow it out. All right, here we go. fill 
in. Let's do this one over here. do this third one. I need to practice more with this thing. It was not doing what I wanted it to do. blow out nicely. I'm going to let these settle in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, these are coming in really nicely. I'm going to move this back over to the spinner box. We're going to modify and then we're going to spin it out. Oof, that is nice. That is coming in nicely. All these blooms. I'm going to have to practice more with that device. I'll talk more about that uh, at the end of the video if you uh, want to get yourself one. All right, now I want to play. in the middle just a little without distorting anything all right that looks good here's what we got before we start spinning it out so super cool I cannot wait to see how this spins out I want to try and keep everything in the center so here we go I'm gonna just start spinning Everything's opening up really nicely. I just want to give it another good spin before I start guiding if I need to. Yes, yes. You know what? I'm just going to keep spinning because some of these, these are just going to kind of go off. I want to try and keep half of the blooms on either side. So, 
one more nice spin. I don't, I don't want to distort the blooms by moving it around if I don't have to. Just kind of up and down, tilting it a little. I am going to move it this way because I want a little bit more paint coming off over here. Oof. Yes, just a little bit more this way and we are good. Come on, you can do it. So, so cool. Yeah, not too much distortion either. A little bit over here on this one, but it looks kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna move this back. Actually, no, I'm going to do one more spin that way. Okay. Oof. Yes, 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 yes. Move it this way just a little bit. I don't have too much more paint on there. It's not really moving. I think this white spot here all right one more spin just to even that out just a little yep Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> I was not expecting this. This is so much more than what I was expecting. And I love this orientation. I mean, it almost looks like a fire breathing dragon flowers. So, so cool. And I, I have no movement of my paint. I kind of fixed that little area with the gold cell activator. This is a winner winner chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. Sometimes a piece comes out and you're not sure about it or it didn't meet your expectations or it wasn't what you had pictured in your head. And sometimes this happens. <laughs> this is beyond my comprehension of what I had in my mind. I mean, just the coolest bring you in and show you. There are a lot of cool shimmers in here with the background and then also all the colors in these three blooms and i love how the two side blooms are like half blooms but you can kind of see how the the background is and there's a little bit of cells there but oh this is just so cool the movement <laughs> and it made kind of like a bumblebee yellow and normally I wouldn't like it, but with this whole color combo, it's just stellar, the movement. Oh, all of those cells in there. I hope they stay. Look at all those shimmers in there. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, I love this piece so much. Now I want to try it on the diagonal. <laughs> I want to try the blooms on the diagonal. I love that right there. How that That's kind of how I wanted the swipe in the background to be a little bit heavier with the color, but some really cool effects like that too. I mean, this is just the coolest. I cannot wait to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. This piece dried so nicely. Oh, I absolutely love it. It dried exactly as you saw it wet. So I want to kind of just dive in. We'll check out the shimmers and orientations, but I love the background, how it almost, it just kind of swishes along there. And these, these blooms pretty much stayed intact. I had a little bit of wiggle, but not much at all. You know, that was just from moving the piece around, but all those really, really cool cells in there stayed. I just love how the, and it dried a little bit darker as paint likes to do. And I feel like it's just glowing from behind. It's just the coolest. Let's go check out some shimmers now on this. Yeah, see, we've got a lot of gold in there from that interference and then the gold we used in the background. Just gorgeous. This, 
dare I say it, this piece is on fire. <laughs> I know it's so cheesy, but look at that right there with the red and the gold. Oh, I just love this. It couldn't have gone any better. So beautiful, that gold in there. All right, let's check out some other orientations now. I really like it going uh, this way as well, you know, with the blooms going uh, vertically as opposed to horizontally, although they suppose they could go anyway, but let's try another Here's one. Here's the reverse from how we originally had it. I think my favorite is still the uh, first the first orientation you saw. And then here's the last vertical. This one might be my favorite vertical, but I'd love to hear your favorite orientation. So I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. Yeah, this is definitely my first favorite orientation of this piece, but I'd love to hear your favorite orientation. Uh, before I forget, that device that you saw me kind of blowing out with and then I put it down is getting frustrated as I was blowing the piece out. I have always used my mouth. I have experimented with uh, hair dryers and mini dryers and I love them. I need to practice a lot more, but I always felt like I had the best control with my breath. But as I go bigger or as I'm doing these multi-blooms, I know I'm going to need some help somewhere along the line <laughs> if I don't want to get paint on me, especially as I go bigger too. And this device I have here, uh, this is actually a metal straw with a little attachment, but it came with these, a number of little attachments, whoops, here, different size attachments, but that, that's what I have. I got this, this came from the Paint Pour store, and I'll link it below. I've got this one, and then this kind of flexi straw that though these little things go on as well. So I'm going to experiment more with that as I, you know, as I move forward. I feel like that might help me a little bit more, but <laughs> it was the first time I used it. I was getting frustrated and I was like, okay, I got to blow this out. We're going to just put that aside. But I wanted to at least show you in case it's something you're looking for, uh, you know, a little straw with those little extenders to kind of help you blow your, your bloom out or whatever else you're, you're blowing out on your fluid art painting. So I'm going to put the link down below again. It's the paint pour paintpourstore.com. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this piece. This multi-bloom to me was <laughs> was more of a success than, than the last one I did. I felt like I had better control over it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing these. I've got more ideas for them, but I would love to hear what you have to say about this piece. So let me know in the comments below. With that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.